Tell him that all that you have belongs to him. Elevate his name this afternoon. Because he, he is all your that he has, he has manifested in our life. Let's go before God. Don't keep silent. Yeah. Elevate the name of God wherever you are. For you are in the presence of God. Almighty Father, we bless you this afternoon. We thank you because you are our strength. You are the God of our health. You are the God of our salvation. You are the God of our children. You are the God of our ministry, my Father. It is you who gives us strength to do all that we are doing in this world. For without you we can do nothing. My Father, let it be known that you are our God. Let it be known that you are blessed through our life. Let it be known that you are mighty. Let it be known that you can have your heart mercy, O Lord. Let it be known that you are merciful. Let it be known that you are powerful. Use us to Jehovah so that you may demonstrate your power. You may demonstrate your glory through our lives in Jesus' name. Make us vessel of honor before you, my Father. Set apart a special mission so that my Father you may demonstrate your power and your love through us, my Savior. I pray that Jehovah, through this church, may you demonstrate your power of miracles, signs, and wonders to destroy your people, to take away demons out of their lives. Yes, Jehovah, to promote them from glory to glory. May we be used as vessels of honor to impart your grace with your people, to lift them to our Lord and empower them from your responding as a mention and as a part of their life, my Father. May we be used, Jehovah, as vessels of honor in your house to bring to our Lord glory and your holy name. May we be used, Jehovah, as vessels of honor in your house so that we may be used by you, my Father, to restore the lives of people who are lavishing in darkness, lavishing in darkness, Jehovah, whom the God of this day has blinded their minds. I pray today, my Father, that may you take control of our lives. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your spirit. Fill us with your anointing, O oh God, so that as we walk on the face of the earth, we may demonstrate your love. We may demonstrate your compassion. We may demonstrate your power to liberate your people. To liberate your people, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We are serving you, my Father, for we want to seek your glory and your power. Every day we come into thy presence to seek your glory and your power. Release it in our life. Release it in our life, O oh God. Release it in our ministry. Manifest your gifts in us. Manifest your mighty gifts in us, Jehovah, so that we may do your will. We may live according to your will. We may fulfill the purpose of why you manifested us, O oh Lord, on the face of this earth. Glory and honor we give unto you. We surrender our lives unto you. We surrender everything unto you, Jehovah. For we know that without you we are nothing. But in you we are mighty. In you we are complete. In you we are able. For we can do everything in our life according to you who strengthen us. As you say in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. For you are wonderful and your prayer. We give you glory and honor for your mercy.
great this afternoon, my Father. Yes, we know that you are careful in our life. Everything that seems hard to us with you it is possible, my Savior. Because we know that nothing is impossible with you, my Savior. We glorify you this afternoon. Because we know that we are doing what is a part of us. Not with our strength, but through the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. We know that we are being catapulted. Glory to glory. Not according to our strength.
unity of power amidst uh, the leadership and the congregation. Let us call upon the unity of God. When you read the book of Acts, we see that the power of God is set upon the, the apostles. Why? Because they were in unity. Let's go before God and call upon unity amidst us. Everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, we need your unity. We need a unity of purpose in this church. My Father, I pray for the spirit of brotherly love to dwell amidst us, my Savior. I pray for your spirit of unity to abide in us according to your will, Jehovah. I pray today, my Father, that you shall give us oneness in worship, oneness in praising you, oneness, Jehovah, in the unity of purpose. We shall have one aim of reaching unto heaven. My Father, we come against every spirit of division, every spirit of competition that may arise amidst us. We cast it out of our life in the name of Jesus. I pray, my Father, that you shall move with us in unity. You shall put us in your love in us, my Father, so that we shall see that others are better than us. You shall esteem others higher than us, so that we may dwell in your humility, so that we may dwell in your power. In the name of Jesus, Whatever pride may be hiding amidst us, whatever it may be tithing us, so that it may spread in our life, we cast it out in the name of Jesus. We pray that may it be exposed through the power of the Holy Ghost and be cast out of this ministry in the name of Jesus. We want to serve you in humility. We want to serve you in oneness. We want to serve you, Jehovah, in spirit and truth. Oh, my Father, have mercy on us. We know that you are establishing us and no gate of hell shall prevail amidst us because you are our strength, because you are giving us, Jehovah Lord, the power, you are giving us the mojo to continue seeking you, to continue, Jehovah Lord, desiring the things of God. We know that we shall all work and operate under one umbrella, oh God, because you are our God. You are our Father and you are our mighty God. We thank you because you are wonderful. We elevate you, Jehovah, because you are a mighty God. Have your way in our life because you are great and you are awesome. We worship you, our Father, because you are mighty.
Jesus, 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 Jesus,